In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert temperature from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit and vice versa, as well as give you a tip on how to convert temperature into Kelvin. Now, the temperature conversion is one of the easiest conversions to do on the CRP5 because the temperature conversion is a fixed scale. And this fixed scale is found at the bottom of the CRP5. So we'll zoom in on the temperature scale. And you can get a better look at it. You will find that this scale has degrees Celsius on the top of the scale and degrees Fahrenheit at the bottom of the scale. And this is a fixed scale, so all you need to do to convert let's say 35 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit would be to move the cursor to line up with 35 degrees Celsius and the only issue with this is that the cursor unlike all the other conversions on the CRP5 the cursor doesn't exactly extend out far enough to give you a super accurate reading you should read the numbers square off the CRP5 and 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35 degrees Celsius would correspond to negative 10, 11, 12, 13, negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and vice versa. Interesting points to note are that this particular scale or for the Celsius and Fahrenheit conversions, negative 40 degrees Celsius happens to coincide with negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The tip to converting Celsius into degrees Kelvin is simply to add 273. Let's make things a little bit more challenging. Let's convert 50 degrees Fahrenheit into Kelvin. So all we need to do is one additional step and we would go to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and we would read off the scale and it says 10 degrees Celsius so 50 degrees Fahrenheit would be 273 plus 10 degrees 283 degrees Kelvin and it's that simple